Hey everybody, I have a new book series to show you today. This one is the Color Me um, series. So far I've got the Color Me Happy, the Color Me Fearless, and the Color Me to Sleep. Today I'm going to focus on the Color Me Happy, which is one of my favorites. Um, it's a nice big heavy book. 100 coloring templates that are created by Lacey Mucklow and illustrated by Angela Porter. So technically these are single sided pages. I say technically because um, as you'll see in a moment all the um, back sides have this little pattern on the back of them. So you can color it if you wanted to but you know just protect your work. There's a lot of colored um, items in these books already which is kind of cool. It gives you a table of contents in each of the books. All the books are you know, similar, they just have different themes. There's an introduction page here. They've got tips. Um, the first chapter is on nature. They, they show you a few um, more color samples. And then you start. It's um, very thin, very, you know, copy paper. Maybe a little thicker than copy paper. But um, all the pages have a border like this on it, which I thought was kind of neat. And most of them, I believe all of them, are squared off. They're non-perforated. So if you protect your work, you can really use anything in these books. They're, you know, really cute, Zentangled. They're from beginners to advanced. Like this is a beginner. You could do this in a few hours. A child could do this one. Mountain scene. Underworld scene. Underwater, I should say. Mountains. I'm trying to go fast because it's a big book. I like them in dollars like that. It's not too intricate. You can get it done, you know. These are the colored examples that were in the front of the book. And then we got a new chapter, Babies and Animals. And they show you a couple of colored examples. And then there's a different color on each of the, the backs and the borders for every chapter. I really like this page. I think it's cute. Squirrel. Little baby that you just saw. Kitty. I like this one. This is really cute too. Let me bring it a little closer. Alright. <clears throat> really cute book. I really like, and you can get them. I got them really, really inexpensive. Oh, I love the owl. I got them really inexpensive off of Book Outlet. They have them on Amazon as well. I'll um, post that link where you can buy them at the bottom. And here we go with the blue background and the blue border. Music instruments. I don't know why there's a blank page in between every... They could have filled that in with it or something. I look how they give you examples already drawn and colored in. Pretty cake. Cupcakes. Birthday cake. Lunches. This one's really nice. I mean, but you could still cut them out and, and um, hang some of these up. Especially they got a really pretty border and all. You could definitely do that. Isn't that cute? See, we got the yellow now. Blank page. I guess you could test in between maybe. It's really cute. I like these. Very, very whimsical. Good travel books because they're easy, you know. You could do these on the road or whatever. I think. Little rabbits. And the last one, Art and Architecture. Texture. Some of these are like, um, kind of like copies of famous people's work. Australia, Russia. 
And that's it. That is the end of this book. That's what the back looks like. And that is the spine. Really heavy, nice quality book. If you have any questions or comments, leave it down at the bottom and I'll get back to you as soon as I can. Thanks for watching. Bye-bye.